Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free-to-use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. Over the past six lessons, we've learned several different types of calculation and applied them in varying formulas that can be used in your everyday nursing practice. As a quick recap, we've looked at how to work out how much of a drug we should give if the drug is in a solution, and we use the formula prescribed dose divided by the stock dose multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in. We've learned how to calculate how many tablets we should give a patient if we know the drug concentration that the tablet is in, using the formulas prescribed dose divided by the amount of the drug in one tablet. We've learned how much of a drug to give based on the weight of a patient, using the formula dose per kilogram multiplied by the weight in kilogram of the patient. So now we're going to bring all these skills together to help us answer more complex questions that you're more likely to see in your drugs calculation tests. So here's an example. A patient who weighs 75 kilograms is prescribed 8 milligrams per kilogram of a drug that is available with a stock dose of 4 milligrams in 2 milliliters of solution. How much of the solution should be given to the patient? So let's break this question down and it will help us identify how we might approach in tackling this question. This is really about comprehension of a question. What is the question asking us to do? So part one, let's look at the first statement. A patient who weighs 75 kilograms is prescribed 8 milligrams per kilogram of a drug. So we know how to answer this. We need to use our dose per kilogram multiplied by the weight in kilogram of the patient. So that's 8 milligrams per kilogram multiplied by 75 kilograms, the weight of the patient, which gives us 600 milligrams. So in part one of the question, we know we've identified the prescribed dose, which is 600 milligrams. In part two of the question, we have a drug that is available with a stock dose of 4 milligrams in 2 milliliters of solution. So in this instance, We'll need to apply our formula prescribed dose divided by stock dose multiplied by the volume that the stock dose is in. So let's crunch the numbers. Our prescribed dose is 600 milligrams. So we divide that by 4 milligrams and multiply it by the 2 milliliters of the solution that the stock dose comes in, which gives us an answer of 300 milliliters of solution. Okay, let's do another example, only this time we'll need to consider conversion of metrics. A patient who weighs 85 kilograms is prescribed 25,000 micrograms per kilogram of a drug that is available with a stock dose of 5 milligrams in 4 milliliters of solution. How much of the solution should we give the patient? Well, let's break this question down into two parts again. Part 1. A patient who weighs 85 kilograms is prescribed 25,000 micrograms per kilogram of a drug. Well, we'll use the formula dose per kilogram multiplied by the weight in kilogram of the patient. So that's 25,000 micrograms per kilogram multiplied by 85 kilograms, which gives us 2,125,000 micrograms. Well, that's a big number, and if we look at the metric in the other part of the question, it's given to us in milligrams. So let's use a factor of 1,000 and divide 2,125,000 by 1,000 to convert it into micrograms. So 2,125,000 micrograms divided by 1,000 gives us 2,125 milligrams. Now we have the prescribed dose of 2,125 milligrams, we can look at part two of the question. The drug is available with a stock dose of 5 milligrams in 4 milliliters of solution. So we can crunch this into our formula, prescribed dose divided by stock dose multiplied by the volume that the drug dose is in. So we have 2,125 milligrams divided by 5 milligrams, which gives us 425 multiplied by 4 milliliters, that's the available solution that the drug is in, which gives us a total of 1,700 milliliters, or 
1.7 litres of solution. Okay, let's look at a similar question, but this time we're going to look at the solution as a concentrate within a solution when it's represented as a percentage. So let's look at an example. A patient who weighs 65 kilograms is prescribed 10 milligrams per kilogram of a drug that is available as a 5% concentrate solution. How much of the solution should the patient be given? Well, again, let's break this question down into two parts. Part one, let's work out the prescription amount. So we should identify that this is the first part of the question. A patient who weighs 65 kilograms is prescribed 10 milligrams per kilogram. So let's put this into our dose by patient weight formula. 10 milligrams per kilogram multiplied by the patient weight of 65 kilograms gives us 650 milligrams. So our prescribed amount of the drug is 650 milligrams. Now we need to look at how much of the solution that the drug is dissolved in to administer this 650 milliliters of the drug. The drug is available in a 5% concentrate. So thinking back to the drug as a concentrate lesson, we know that 5% means that for every 100 milliliters of solution, there are 5 grams of drug in that solution. So now we have our drug dosage calculation of prescribed amount divided by the stock dose multiplied by the solution the stock dose is available in. So that's 650 milligrams prescribed amount divided by 5 grams. Well, immediately we should identify that we need to convert our grams into milligrams to make the calculation easier. Remember, to convert grams to milligrams, we use a factor of 1,000. So 5 multiplied by 1,000 will give us 5,000 milligrams. Now we can put this into our formula. 650 divided by 5,000 gives us 0 0.13. Now we multiply it by 100 milliliters, which is the volume of the solution that the drug is in, which gives us an answer of 13 milligrams. Okay, finally, we'll do a calculation as though we're giving an oral dosage in the form of tablets. A patient who weighs 35 kilograms is prescribed 75 milligrams per kilogram of a drug that is available in tablets of 525 milligrams. How many tablets should we give the patient? Okay, once again, let's work out the prescribed amount using our dose by patient weight formula. So it's 35 kilograms multiplied by 75 milligrams per kilogram, giving us a prescribed dose of 2,625 milligrams. Now we know the prescribed amount, we need to work out how many tablets go into our 2,625 milligrams prescription. Well, we know that each tablet comes in 525 milligrams, so merely divide 2625 milligrams, total dose, by 525 milligrams per tablet, giving us an answer of 5 tablets. Okay, now try the dose per weight test on NurseNet Numeracy. Remember, you can find lots more maths help at www.nursenet.uk, or if you're looking for your next career in nursing, do check out our jobs board.